You you want me to list it now? So now now I'm, we I'm gotta, just saying that can, that's, can he so, get himself to apologize for the crime bill? Can he get can he get himself oh, to get his head out of his oh, ass and say, "Black people, you you are black regardless." I need you to tell me what I need to. I wouldn't count on Biden apologizing anytime soon. Here we have rapper and activist Killer Mike trying to explain to Bill Maher why he feels Joe Biden holds the black community an apology. And what's interesting is Bill Maher just can't wrap his head around why Killer Mike, a black man, isn't automatically willing to give a public endorsement. What are your feelings on the election coming up? I mean, Biden and Trump, are you just depressed about that as most people my, as a choice? My, my feeling is pick your policy, not your person. Find out <laughs> this is... This is not the Dallas Cowboys versus your favorite team. This is, this is the policies that will affect our generations for the next 20, 30, 40 years to come. So close your eyes, listen to the policies that are being pushed, and, and pay attention even to the people who don't have a chance of winning because they're going to say policies you may want to push. And I would say do that, but make it policy-based. Make so, it policy-based. So that means, therefore... That means I'm, I'm for black people and happy black history. Month. But you're not you're not saying one candidate over the. Wow. It's almost as if Bill Maher can't understand the fact that Killer Mike is thinking for himself way outside of the propaganda that's being pushed on him. You see, Killer Mike made it crystal clear. It's about policies, not just empty talks or personalities. He said it best. Policy should come first because that's what truly matters, not just political noise. It's actually refreshing to see someone stand firm on that part, especially in today's climate where personality often seems to over overshadow real actionable change keep my mouth closed I, I still like the policy that the old man had that i was supporting i would encourage people to find who's supporting that policy and and see what but you can't get yourself to say vote for biden over trump you you want me to list it now so now, now i'm, we I'm gotta, just saying that can, that's can he get himself to apologize for the crime bill can he get can he get himself oh. to get his head out of his oh. ass and say black people you you are black regardless i need you to tell me what i need to do can he pick a coalition of former people who are affected by drug laws, street gangs, recidivism and crime and say, I need you as a board to advise me how to fix federal prisons? If he can do that, absolutely I can. So my challenge is out. Now that was well said. It doesn't seem like Killer Mike is asking for too much at all. It's almost like some of these Democrats feel entitled to the black vote. And the way they push their narrative comes across as if they're trying to force their ideology. Killer Mike hit the nail on the head. No one, and I mean no one, should just hand over their vote without getting something in return, especially when the stakes are so high. The idea that any group is expected to vote a certain way without question, now that's outdated and disrespectful. People should be demanding real change, not just following blindly. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And if you want to see Robert De Niro have a full-fledged meltdown over Trump, you won't want to miss this video. The bottom line is, it's Biden versus Trump. We want to live in a world that we want to live in and enjoy living in or live in a nightmare. Vote for Trump and you'll get the nightmare. Vote for Biden and you'll we'll be back to normalcy.